Hey, 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 Sharon Horn Awesome here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So I know it's the first time being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. I've actually got a cat sleeping on my legs, so I can't move very well today, so it'll be pretty interesting. Today is, doesn't matter what today is. Today, I would like to talk about on this episode and get your input on habits. How do you feel about habits? Um... Uh, there's been a lot of, of books written about habits and a lot of, of talk and discussion around habits and how they impact not only our lives, but our businesses. So my question for you today is, what is your best habit, your very best habit, the thing that you do to help you grow and supersize your business? I want you to share that in the comments below. You know, Brendan Burchard's got a book out, um, High Performance Habits, I think it's called. Uh, Dean Graziosi has the Millionaire Success Habits or something, which has got a challenge in it, which is very good, by the way. Both of those are very good books. And then, of course, the ever infamous Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective Blank. Highly Effective People, Highly Effective... I think he's got a, a whole series of those books out now. But it speaks to the importance of creating routines and systems and habits around things that work, that move us toward our goal and what it is that we want to achieve. So what is your best, most consistent habit? What is the thing that you do maybe every day, maybe every week, maybe every whatever frequency that helps you move the needle the most from where you are to where you want to be as you're supersizing and growing your business? Mine is, I would say, taking action every single day. I take action every single day, at least one thing to move me toward my end goal, my big peak mountain goal, where I really want to be. Not the little interim goals, although I work toward those every day, but the big goal. One thing every day that moves me toward that goal. That is my, I think, most important habit with respect to supersizing my business. Now I have habits for every area of my life, which I highly recommend for everyone because if we can make something a habit, it becomes automatic and we don't even have to think about it anymore. I habitually take my vitamins. I habitually exercise every day. I habitually try to think of positive ways and do things that help me keep my mind sharp and myself always growing and changing and learning and applying new skills and techniques to whatever it is that I'm trying to do. I have habits of how I interact with other people and in my relationships. So habits can be a very, very powerful thing. They can also be a really, really bad thing. There's, of course, good habits and bad habits. Good habits are hard to form. They, they're the hard ones. I mean, it was hard for me to start exercising every day. It was hard for me to start eating right and taking care of myself. It shouldn't be, but it was hard because good habits tend to be difficult to begin and form and get in place, and they're super easy to break. It's really easy to break a good habit. Now, I'll give you an example. I gave up drinking pop. I used to be a, a diet pop aholic. Diet pop and coffee. I mean, I drank a couple liters of pop a day, diet pop, and a couple pots of coffee a day. Bad caffeine and bad for my body. Um, and I gave it up. And it took me probably four years before of, of never having any soda pop before I stopped craving the chemicals and the stuff in diet pop and wanting a diet pop. Four years. So four years, every single day, I had to tell myself no repeatedly that I just wasn't going to have it. It wasn't part of my life anymore. But that was a really bad habit and a hard habit to break. Now, it's a good habit to not drink soda pop, right? This is in my opinion. If you don't agree, drink pop all you want. Um, but for my and my body, it wasn't good. So... I know, though, that all I need to do is have one diet pop, and I would be back on the diet pop wagon. It's kind of like quitting cigarettes. You have one, and boom, you might be right back to smoking again. So good habits, hard to form, easy to break. Bad habits, on the other hand, are super easy to form and hard to break. Think of hitting the snooze alarm on your phone now, or, or on your alarm clock every morning. That doesn't seem like a big deal. But every time you hit that snooze alarm, it reinforces to you that you're, you're not keeping a commitment to yourself to get up at a certain time. Smoking is a really good example. Smoking, it's easy to start smoking and very, very hard to quit. It's easy to start drinking alcohol and very, very hard to quit. It's easy to start doing any kind of chemically altering thing to yourself and it's hard to quit. Um, it's easy to start thinking negatively and hard to quit. 
So keep that in mind as you're thinking about your habits. But go ahead, share in the comments below today what habit you think is responsible for your most progress toward building the business of your dreams, toward supersizing your business and creating the life that you want. Share in the comments below because this pajama grandma is dying to know. Have an awesome day. And of course, I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.